Welcome to Amplified Artist Sessions, Artist of the Week. I'm your host, Allie Hart, and today we are here with John Rouse. Hey, John. How's it going? All right, let me tell you a little bit about John. So John is a performing musician born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He was introduced to all kinds of music at an early age from his music-loving father. And although he was interested, he didn't begin playing until his sophomore year in high school, which was obviously not that long ago. Um, he started playing on a cheap electric Yamaha Pacifica in 2004 in his parents' basement. Internet tabs were his only source of progression. And so at some point you picked up an acoustic guitar, it looks like in 2006. How did it change you? Uh, well, it went from bedroom playing, you know, to Metallica riffs I was looking up online, to bringing the acoustic and being the annoying guy at the party, banging on uh, the acoustic around the bonfire while people were trying to drink beer underage and saying, dude, just shut up, I want to listen to the radio. Uh, that's how it changed at the time. Nice. Um, so what were some of your musical influences? Um, well, when I first started playing, my, my, I have a musical family. My cousin, my older cousin Logan Rouse played guitar. Um, I was a big fan of that. And then uh, getting into music that way, uh, as far as playing, uh, Van Halen, uh, he's, Eddie Van Halen's my favorite guitar player. I don't think that'll ever change. Um, Metallica was a big one at the time. Um, the guitar playing was intricate, and that's what my cousin played, and I really liked it. Uh, but then I also listened to other stuff, um, you know, a lot of Pink Floyd, uh, Steve Miller Band, classic rock, stuff like that. Nice. Yeah. And so, um, Summerfest, big festival, huge music festival here in Milwaukee. They say it's the world's largest. <clears throat> the world's largest. And so you have done something special there every year, Ground Floor Stage. Um, tell us a little bit about that. So uh, the ground floor stage, uh, it's, uh, it's my baby. It's the thing that I look forward to every year. Not that there's other stuff to look forward to, but my whole year revolves around uh, the festival run at Summerfest. Um, back in like 2006 or seven, I started playing outside of the gates uh, with my case open with my acoustic, uh, just for tips and for the crowd that was leaving. Usually uh, about 11 p.m. to about one in the morning, catching that crowd uh, walking out uh, they've had a little to drink and they're still in party mode and they hear an acoustic Tom Petty song on the sidewalk. Uh, that was what it was all about for me, having a blast. Uh, I did that for two or three years. Uh, and this guy um, was hanging out, listening uh, after hours, mentioned he had a friend that ran a small independent stage inside the grounds. Um, at the time it was called Renegade. Actually, I take that back. At the time it was called Coventry Jones's Ground Floor Stage. That's what it was called. So we got in and I got in, I should say, and played it one time. I met the guy, we became fast friends. I helped him run his stage for five years, which went through many transitions. Uh, and then I was lucky enough to be able to start my own. And that's what the ground floor is now. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, if you head to Summerfest, make sure you go check out the ground floor stage. Um, AAS, well, uh, Amplified Art Sessions actually has their own time slot. So make sure you go um, check it out and see the amazing original artists um, that are going to be there. So we're going to hear some original songs from John. But first, a shout out to our friends at ACA Music and Entertainment and North Coast Center for the Arts. Absolutely. All you guys here and everything, this is wonderful what you guys do for musicians. And I, I'm sure that I can speak for all of us and say how much we all appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, John. Come on home And I know 
Lord, I know she ain't been alone. Light on, hey, leave your 
light on Leave your light on for me Leave your light on for me when I can't be just who you want me to be Then if I takes the fight out of me And I can't see Won't you leave your light on You can leave your light on Leave your light on me This one's called When Will It End? I wrote it uh, a few years now, a few years ago, um, but it's unfortunately more relevant by the day here. Did we end up here? After all we went through so long ago, though we've come a long way from there, we've got so far to go. Oh, there's bullets flying overhead, guided to the innocence and death. There are kids in pieces in the streets while we're asleep in bed Oh Lord, when will it end? Oh Lord, when will it end? We fought the devil in the sand Made him meet all of our demands Oh, it's time to many foreign lands yeah, There's always blood on our hands There's always blood on our hands Oh, there's rockets flying overhead I got it to the face and move our way there are kids in pieces in the streets while we're asleep in bed Oh Lord, when will it end? Oh Lord, when will it end? The powers that defy the ones who own I say they stand for truth, but they don't no, they just talk and squawk and decide who is to die And then ship our children over there to fight Now there's bullets going each and every way You see it on the news every day Another's killed, another dead Another son, another friend Oh Lord, when will it end? Oh Lord, when will it end? Oh, we hear me. There's bullets going to eat shit every way. You see it on the news every damn day. Another's killed, another dead Another son, another friend Oh Lord, when will it end? Oh Lord, when will it end? Oh, you know 